Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone. And pull up on iPad here. Well, hello, Pat. Just pulling up my uh, calendar on my iPad. How you doing, Pat? I'm cold. It is, uh, I didn't check the temperature, but ooh, it's a little chilly outside. And I'm still cold downstairs, just because heat rises and it's a lot warmer upstairs. But uh, I have my, I have my Stampin' Up, <laughs> I have my Stampin' Up hoodie uh, jacket on to stay warm down here until it warms up a little. Thank you for sharing. Well, I want to welcome you all. We're going to go ahead and, and get this thing going, and whoever comes on will come on. Um, Pat. <laughs> um, so since last night, Pat, it got worse. I just, I just gave, I literally just gave up. I'm going to, um, <clears throat> what happened is when the tree fell, it was, it was, hanging off one of the tables and it was hanging off the little table that it was on. Hi Veronica. Well since then what's happened is um, they continued to jump on it and they continued to just like uh, grab onto it and they were just kind of hanging off of it and and it finally fell the whole way off onto the floor. Good morning Terry. And then they continued to play with it for the rest of the night. So not only is it completely on the floor and all of the ornaments are like everywhere over over there, all the little paper ornaments from kits that I've made, um, but it's it's flat. Like it doesn't, it's not fluffy anymore. It's flat. And so uh, I just left it. I was like, <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't want to fool with it late last night. And of course I just let them out a while ago. So they are, running around, they've got full tummies, empty bladders, and they're just balls of energy right now. So I probably should have kept them locked up during my live because I have no idea what's gonna happen while I'm live. So we'll find out. I just know right now they're terrorizing the other cats. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm kind of so glad I did not put a Christmas tree up in the living room this year because that could have been very, very, disastrous um, because I normally get holly trees comes from I think uh, is it Oregon somewhere in that neck of the woods I think and we normally go get um, you know seven to eight foot you know Douglas firs just because I prefer a live tree every year and I just love the smell I don't care too much for cleaning up the needles afterwards but I don't know it's just something that I've done every year so I'm really glad that I didn't uh, go through all of that this year because, um, yeah, yeah, I'll just, I think next year I'm going to plan a little better and hopefully I can have like smaller, smaller kit. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Somebody's mad. <laughs> But anyway, hopefully I can have smaller kittens during the Christmas season. That way I don't have to worry about them jumping on things. So, But anyway, I want to welcome you all. It is Wednesday, December the 8th. My name is Barbara, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that lives in the San Antonio, Texas area. I just want to welcome you. Uh, we are starting a new layout today. And while I'm putting the layout together, I'm just going to talk about some of the sales and things like that. But um, before I forget, uh, we have a lot going on with Stampin' Up! So um, if you're in need of catalogs, um, if you want to be in the know of what's going on, what's coming up, I would love to be able to share that with you, uh, whether you're a demonstrator or not. I have a lot of demonstrators that watch. Um, and then I have a lot of demonstrators that are on my mailing list. And if you join my mailing list, oh, goodness, I don't know what's going on in the kitchen, but somebody's really mad. 
now. Um, but anyway, if you are um, want to join my email list, you'll automatically get a complimentary copy of the new upcoming uh, mini catalog as well as the celebration brochure. Um, if you don't have an annual catalog, this is still good through May. Um, you can still get these. There's still some really, really fabulous things that are in here, and a lot of our basic items are in here. These, these smaller catalogs are more seasonal, so uh, things that are just going to be with us for a little while, um, you know, you'll want to still grab these. Um, this one right now is the current mini catalog that is good through the end of this month. And right now we have a, um, it's called a last chance. Let me get my little list here. It's called the last chance, um, uh, time of the year, basically. So, um, there is going to be a list in the guys uh, Bino and Archie are at each other's neck right now <laughs> oops um, anyway there's gonna be a last chance list from the mini catalog and basically what that means is there are items in the current mini catalog that are going to be carrying over and things that are going to be retiring so if you have some favorite items that are in the current mini catalog that you want to grab before they're gone now is the time to do it in fact, today is the time to do it because we have free shipping all the way until midnight tonight. So um, as I go on with the, with the demonstration, I'll probably repeat myself again uh, for those that didn't hear it maybe the first time. And so, uh, but anyway, if you need mini catalogs, and even if you're a demonstrator and you still join, you still get an extra special gift from me. And so um, in lieu of catalogs, or if you get catalogs from somebody else. So um, last week we wrapped up layout number 24 and let's get this wheel going over here. And then let me grab I had to grab a prize. We're going to give away a package of some gold and rose metallic specialty paper. Um, there are eight sheets of this in here, and I won't open it, but it's an unopened package. So um, let's pull up the right wheel. If you're wondering how you can get on the wheel, when you like, comment, or share any of my videos, that gets you on the wheel for the live drawings every week. And if you share, all you have to do is type shared, you know, click the little share button, type shared in the comments, share it with your friends, your family. Um, your typing shared in the comments helps me give you the credit that you need to get the extra entry into the drawing. So uh, Stampin' Up! is all that I do. So sharing the video actually really does help me out and I always appreciate the shares. And so um, this is for last Wednesday. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel and give away this package of gold and rose six by six metallic paper. Ooh, Pat, you almost got it again. I think Pat was really close last time. Uh, Stella, you won. Congratulations. I can't see if you're on right now, um, but if you are, congratulations. And if you're watching the replay, just know that you have a prize coming your way, girl. And you saw that uh, Pat almost won with her. People do win from sharing the videos, so let me pull up my picture. Okay. And this is the host code for the month of December. All that means is that when you place an order of at least $25 or more on my website, you get the f kit, the free kit in the mail. Thank you for sharing, Mary Ellen. Um, yes, Pat, that was twice. <laughs> you should get a booby prize. <laughs> Did you mean to say booby prize? <laughs> You're hilarious. Thanks for sharing, Bev. Make sure I don't miss any comments there. Um, you're going to get a free kit in the mail in order to make all four of these cards that is using the Create with Friends stamp set. 
and the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. Um, you'll also get a free color tutorial that goes with that. It, but you have to use this host code in the month of December. Everything's cut for you, die cut for you. If there's any embossing, includes all the accessories that you need, um, ribbon, jewels, and if your order is $50 or more, you're going to get a free coordinating accessory, which will either be this petal pink organdy ribbon, or it could be the, a package of the rhinestone, the basic rhinestone jewels. So the only thing I don't do is the stamping, uh, and that's just because it's against Stampin' Up! policy. So all these links and everything I talk about will be in the description after the video, as well as the supply list. But on the supply list... It's not going to include the paper that I'm using today because the paper's not yet available to purchase. And let me show you the designer series paper that I'm going to be using for layout number 25 actually is a package of paper that you can get for free starting January, is it the 3rd or 4th? fourth it's the fourth that you can start getting january 4th once celebration starts so this package of paper let me flip it over is actually called daffodil afternoon designer series paper and look at this paper look at all these gorgeous colors let me get so one side is going to be uh, a printed side that has like daffodils look at this one let me, let me fan this out and see what's going on behind me. Bootsy. It's Bootsy and Nina. Um, but you've got six of these designs, and you know our designer series paper is double-sided. So when we flip this around, we have these other fun designs that are equally coordinating with the designer series paper. So this is a package of paper that you can get for free during celebration when your purchase is at least $50 or more. So that's something up and coming. And other than that, everything else I'm using today is something that's already in our annual catalog. So we are going to be using um, this design this kind of plaid design that's got this crushed curry, I think that's crushed curry, and flirty flamingo, and some very vanilla. It's not white, it's very vanilla. So let's go ahead and get started on our layout. Let me get this over here. And we are going to be using, let me just move this because it's going to get covered up anyway. We are going to be using a Flirty Flamingo 12 by 12 base, which all of our 12 by 12 cardstock, you can only get the colors in the assortment packs. If it's basic white or very vanilla, you can get those packages with just that color in it. But if you want any of the color bases, you have to go to the assortment packs and get things that way, okay? Now, we're gonna be using this sheet, and I did trim it down. I did trim, oh, look. See, I hate, I should've, I hate that. Look, you guys, that's pretty too. It's really busy, but it's really pretty. But my layout, I designed using this side. <laughs> so I know it's gonna be bad covering this beautiful piece up. I have to do a, a double-sided um, layout. I have to play with that, do a double-sided layout, but anyway. I did trim this down, that way a little bit of that flirty flamingo shows around the edge. Okay, and then I'm also using uh, this piece of designer series paper, which has this design on the other side. And we're gonna use a couple of these. Just get a little bit of seal here. 
The free shipping sale actually started at midnight mountain time uh, early, early, early this morning, and it goes through midnight tonight, 11.59 mountain time, which, you know, if you need to convert it to your time, I am, uh, I'm central, so whenever something is mountain, it's always an hour later for me. And I am purposely putting this past the DSP and onto the Florida Flamingo there. Okay, so I have also, um, let's see, what piece do I want to use next? I've got a couple of mats here that we're going to use for some pictures. I'm just matting some very vanilla onto some flirty flamingo. I need to get my dimensionals out. Thought I had them out. Okay, we've got a couple of mats here. The other page two we'll do next week. Next week, and um, let me get my dimensionals. That way I have them ready. Um, next week we'll, do, we'll be doing um, page two. Now I've got these little pieces right here. And if it looks familiar, um, I took the, the ornate layers frames and uh, just used a piece and cut it like a triangle. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put these small pieces I'm going to put one up here in the corner just for a little a little design up there in the corner and this one right here which is just slightly smaller I got my measurements off a little bit which is okay because this one actually is going to go in this bottom corner down here and that's the only two corners I'm going to put those in now let me go ahead and put the photos down and then we can dress the rest of it up so in the month of December right now, this is the best way that you can maximize your savings, especially today. You can take advantage of the free shipping. Uh, the free shipping is with orders of $50 or more. That's not my, that's not my rule, that's Stampin' Up's rule. And with that, you can also take advantage of my free kit in the mail special. So if you have some adhesives or cardstock or some something consumable that you need to stock up on, or maybe there's a bundle you've been eyeing or something, um, today would be the day to get it if it's $50 or more before shipping and handling and tax. And then um, I'm gonna put this one slightly under here. There we go. Um, today would be the day to get it. That way you get the free shipping. You get my free kit in the mail. And then because it's already a $50 or more order, you're going to get the free coordinating accessory with, that goes with my free kit in the mail. That's a deal. That's a deal. All right, so I am going to be using this metallic ribbon that is in Flirty Flamingo. Um, just to speed things up a little bit, I went ahead and cut what I needed and made a couple of double bows. So let's get some glue dots. I'm gonna put two just to make sure it sticks. Got a couple of glue dots. We're gonna put a bow up here. And then we're gonna put the other one on right above the other photo mat. And we're getting there. I did forget a step, but I think I can get it still in there. I'm also use, I also have a couple of scraps of this um, lace, what's it, the scallop lace trim that is in very vanilla. Um, since I had a couple of scraps, I think I'd need to trim them down just a little bit. My intention was just to put a little piece back behind this photo. So let me, let me trim this down just a little bit and I am going to go ahead and put it back there since I, since I planned on using them. And let me do this. 
I should have put these down on that photo mat before I put those down, but it's okay. I'm gonna take my take your pick tool. And let me get, I'm just putting a glue dot back up behind. So if you're doing this layout, it would probably be better to put this on before you put the photo down. I don't wanna pick anything up because I don't want anything to tear. So let me just slide back behind there and then I'm gonna slide this piece just to give this bottom lip a little a little deco there okay and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one just slide a couple of glue dots back there it's always something always something new and fresh happening stamping up and we never know sometimes we know uh, maybe 24 hours in advance if there's a sale or something coming up so you definitely want to be on a mailing list whether it's mine or somebody else's because most of the time the people that are on mailing lists are going to be the first to know that's how we get our communication blasts out so that you know what's coming up and you know to either uh, go ahead and put your order in now or just wait you know wait a couple of days okay all right the last thing well one of the last things I'm gonna put on here are I broke out both of the punches these the daisy punches the medium one and the the larger one and I went ahead and punched um, two sets of the large ones and a set of the small ones and I'm using four of these in each one and I'm going to show you how you can build up your uh, daisy flower with some dimension and just attach that to your layout Okay, so we've got, I am using dimensionals in between, and then when you put these together, you want to line up the center and then slightly offset the little petals there, and then put another dimensional. If you really want to rough up the paper, what you can do is spritz a little water on it. Oops. And take the top off that spritz a little water on it and you'll see the paper curl and while it's still wet you can give it a little crunch here crunch there kind of rough it up a little and that'll give a little texture to the petals you can also emboss it as well if you wanted to emboss it emboss the paper and then punch it that would probably be the best thing or you can still punch it and then run it through an embossing folder and that way you get even more texture if you want um, and then if you need to adjust anything any of these if it doesn't quite go right there um, for the centers what I ended up using I was looking for something really super cute and if you notice um, in the pretty pillow box dies you've got these other you know cute little decorational designs I use these four little floral die cuts there's four of them there's two large ones and two smaller ones uh, that's what I used for this for the center and I'm just gonna put those on I'm gonna put that on with the glue dot let me make sure I'm putting the smooth side up I put that just in the center and then as far as fluffing up the flower just grab the center and just pull this or if it's easier for you to curl it if you want a real pretty curl out of it you can use your bone folder I'm not going to use it because with my luck I'll probably tear off one of the little leaves trying to get this but you can definitely fluff it up you can bring it you know you're trying to make it a tight like it's starting to open you can just bring everything together that kind of a thing so anyway I have made I've gone ahead and made an extra one and then I also made a small one and then we're going to be putting those on so let me get a glue dot on the back Let's see if I got any more glue dots there we go. 
Okay, got a glue dot there. And we're going to put this one up here in the corner just to help soften up that cut and then to soften up this little edge up here. Now, when you put this in your scrapbook, you know, it, it is going to flatten a little bit. But if you were doing this in order to frame it and you've got a, um, you know, a shadow box frame, then you don't have to worry about that. It'll stay fluffed up. Okay, so let's get some glue dots on the back of this one. And then I'm going to put the remaining, because I don't know if you noticed, but I did put a, uh, we're going to put that one down here. And then let me get this one on. I'm just using glue dots, but if you want to use um, our all-purpose glue, you can use that as well. And I'm just going to put this one down here to help soften up this, all these edges over here as well. Okay. Now, if you noticed in the center of those, I also am using the opal rounds. So I'm going to use, because it's a larger flower, I'm going to use the largest opal round. And we're just going to put that right in the center just to kind of decorate the center of the daisy flower. And let me make sure there's no loose pieces. I think that's it. That's it. I hope you can see that whole thing. I think you can. Thank you for sharing, Margaret. If I've missed anybody's comments, I'll go back um, and look. Sometimes, if I'm not looking at the care, I'm looking at my comments, and then sometimes comments don't show up until after I post the live. So, um, but there you have it. There is layout number 25, page number one. I purposely left this little area open because I want to put, I want to do another die cut. This was an afterthought, but I want to do another die cut and I probably will just use the same die cut that is in the pillow box dies, this one right here, just because it has a little stitch decorative edge to it on both sides. Um, may use that here just as a, uh, a little nameplate, or if somebody wants to write the date on of, you know, what maybe when these pictures were taken, or somebody's name, um, or if you wanted to stamp something, um, so I left a little bit room here. So next week when we come back and do page two, uh, most likely you're going to see that extra die cut right here um, just for, you know, putting somebody's name or date down. So, but anyway, um, this paper is gorgeous. By the way, it does coordinate with another bundle that is in the mini catalog. It coordinates with the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. Now, of course, only demonstrators can get this paper right now. Only demonstrators can take advantage of the sales plus the discounts. And so if you're interested in getting any of the product at your own discount, I'll be more than happy to share that information with you. Uh, demonstrators really do have some great benefits. We're, we're in a pre-order state right now, which just means we can pre-order things and play with things that everybody else is not going to be able to get to order until January the 4th. So anyway, it's fun times. Don't forget to take advantage of free shipping, the free kit in the mail. I mean, depending on your order, but um, definitely today's a good day. It's always a good day when you can get something for free. And if your order's $50 or more, not only are you gonna get my free kit in the mail, but you're also going to get a free coordinating accessory. You just have to make sure that you go to my website and you use this host code before midnight. Now after midnight, the free shipping goes away, but even then with the same size order, you're still going to get my free kit in the mail and free coordinating accessories. So thank you all for joining. Uh, Veronica, the pre-order ends January 3rd, the day before. So um, yeah, but don't forget, you know, if you don't want to pre-order, you can certainly wait till the 4th and still be able to get celebration and items and things like that. So anyway. So I hope you all enjoyed layout number 25, page number one. We'll be back next week in order to do page two. So y'all have a great rest of your day, and we will see y'all later. Bye.